All right, what's up guys, Drippy RL. Today we're gonna be going over how to adapt to people that are better than you. Uh, so this was a game, a 1v1 game, I played against uh, Kali. Kali is a high level 1v1 player. He competed in Johnny Boy's uh, Salt Mine. He's a, he's a really talented player. Let's see if I can find this. Yeah, here we go. All right, uh, Kali is a lot better than me, a lot higher ranked. He's been top 100 in, uh, in the world before multiple times. He's been top 20 in the US. I'm sure probably higher. It's the highest I've seen him. He's a really talented player, a lot better than me. All right, so right here, first thing you wanna do is you gotta keep him guessing as to what you're doing. He's never played me before at this point, so he doesn't know what I'm gonna do. He doesn't know my play style. So I immediately start looking as if I'm looking for a challenge. He, he, he's pretty aware that I'm not gonna go for that, but it at least keeps him guessing. He gets a pretty bad touch here. I actually missed that touch, which is really bad. And I missed that boost and I land poorly. Missed this wave dash. Yeah, I started this game out pretty slow. Almost get a flick off. He goes really quick here because he sees me struggling to get control, which is the right idea. You definitely shouldn't be afraid to challenge players when they don't have control of the ball. He gets a pretty good pinch. And he beats me to the boost. I'm just gonna preserve boost here, I'm assuming. Right here, yeah, it should, it should be a goal. Yeah, there we go, nice. So what happened here was, what happened here? Kali, yeah, Kali goes for boost over ball. And then I kind of just fake him out. He thinks I'm gonna hit the ball into him, which I don't do. So maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe if I was a, a pro player, I would have hit the ball into him. All right, right here, Kali goes on a rampage. I'm assuming it's all kickoff goals. Kali's kickoff is really competitive. That's a good kickoff. It didn't directly result in a goal. Let's see what happens though. Yeah, I just, I misread how quickly he was gonna accelerate that ball. Okay, that's a pretty bad shot. He's gonna get the boost though. I don't get really good control there. Oh, I should score. I dodged the wrong way. I took myself out of the play too with this jump. I didn't get any contact. I didn't really have any boost, so like, it's pretty difficult, but I still should have. I shouldn't have let that happen. All right, let's see what happens on this kickoff. Good, all right, let's watch this from my perspective. Flare view, yeah. Just straight into the middle of the ball. We changed the direction from the previous kickoff because we kept losing when we were going, uh, when we were flipping to the right when we hit the ball. So went uh, went to the left, which is a good thing to start doing. Oh, that was a really good flick by Kali. I, okay, so look at, look at how visible I am to Kali. He can see me, you know what I mean? So he knows when I, the second I turn, he knows that I'm coming in for a rush challenge. I should have probably faked a challenge here or done something to make a, make a possession plays play, but uh, it didn't end up working out that way. Kali has the clean speed flip kickoff. It might just be straight in. No, it's not. I gave him possession there. I could have, I could have taken possession. It actually works out well for us. He read me pretty well. I was going for a, a fake or just a challenge there. It's really all I could do, given the fact that he was rushing at the ball. I didn't get the ball around him here. I don't think I was warmed up. My mechanics don't look very good at the beginning of this game. Kali's going off the ceiling. How did, how did I let this in? Oh, that is bad. That is really bad. All right, well, yeah. It wasn't a great shot by Kali. I should, that should be a very easy save for me. I only have 12 boost here. I like pushing the ball instead of going for mid boost there. See how we get a demo out of it. If I had any boost, I could have scored that. Let's see here. He's probably gonna wanna rush immediately. That's a pretty bad touch. I tried to cut it under him. It doesn't work out. I had, I should have gotten here. Yeah, right here, I need to get a really light touch on this ball and I want it to be somewhat, a little bit more towards the goal. But uh, I just made a mechanical error there. My mechanics really weren't, weren't warmed up at the beginning of this game. I don't know what I'm doing. This shot, this should be a goal. It's not. He bumps me, that's a great bump. I get the boost, which is good. Probably might back off here, yeah, probably's gonna back off here. I just take a shot quickly, which keeps him guessing. It really forces people to respect you from your own corner when you just take long shots. Well, that's always a good idea. That's a really good save. 
I was play I played patient there, which is something that I hadn't been doing enough. I'm gonna go grab back, get that boost. That was really well played by me. He goes for a 50-50, then he goes for a fake, and I recognize it, so I don't I don't rush challenge him. I should be able to save this. Nice. I should be able to score this. Oh, if I had any boost there, it would have been a goal. Going for that back boost here. Going for this back boost here. Really low IQ. What I should be doing is just following the, the pad lines back to my net. But instead, I go for the back boost. That should have probably been a goal against us. I don't know how it wasn't. Oh, he barely hits the crossbar. That's really foul. That was a really good pre-jump by him. He read me perfectly. Uh, once again, same thing. Oh, he missed. I go for the back boost instead of just trying to recover immediately. I could have gotten a bump on Kali. I don't know why I didn't. There we go. That's a good demo. That's going to give me a lot of space. We have him crossed here. See how he's facing me? He can't really... Yeah, that's really hard to defend because we, we're coming in at the opposite direction that his car is facing. He can't actually properly shadow the play. He kind of has to either rush challenge or just hope a pre-jump works. I like the quick shot there. I shouldn't go for this. I am going for this. All right, well, I kept him off the ball, which is good. It's a good 50. I have 56 boost still. I'm not conserving it very well. Uh, don't go for that boost. Oh, I went for that boost. That should have been a goal for him. Really good pre-jump though to cut that off. That should be a goal for us. Yeah, it is. Nice. So what I'm focusing on in this game a lot is just fake challenging, maintaining pressure, and trying to be unpredictable. And those are the things that, if you're gonna beat a player like Kali, who just has better mechanics than almost everyone in the world, it's gonna really require that you uh, you just keep them guessing as to what you're gonna do. You, never, you don't do the same thing over and over again. You don't wanna just rush challenge every time. You don't wanna fake challenge every time. You don't wanna shout out to the net every time. You wanna, I should, what the hell? Wait, hold up. What happens here? How did that happen? Oh, he was fake challenging. He thought I was gonna flick. He was very confident I was gonna flick. Okay, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Um, yeah. He's doing a front flip kickoff, which I don't recommend because it gets you to the ball later, which I guess sometimes works out. Like Lethemir still does a front flip kickoff, but uh, Speed flipping is really meta now. That's a really bad flick. That's a really bad pop by me though. I should try to clear that out to the corner. Kali's gonna have a shot here. I should save that. Yeah, nice. That should be a goal maybe. Yeah, it is a goal. Now all I have to do here is hold on, which is what I do. Nice. Dead. Nice. That's a really good challenge. See how I wait? I wait for him to make a play. And the second he starts making a play, I turn and, and cut off that play. Because if I just sit in net there, he's going to bump me. And it's, it's just, it's not going to be a savable. Uh, it's not going to be a scoreable. Or is, is it, yeah, I can't, I can't make a save on an air dribble bump. So turning as they make a play, just like that, is, is the key to winning uh, these games. Sometimes you kind of can't turn and make a play if you're crossed or there, there are various situations where you really don't want to rush challenge. Um, like, like, like the, I'll show you. How about this save? We watched this. This was this was kind of crazy. I don't know. I shouldn't have gone for boost. He shoots. I flip in and pinch it off the post. That's insane. Yeah, but the key to 1v1 is really just keeping your opponent guessing, making sure you 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 switch up your play, take long shots occasionally to keep them backed off. That will give you more space. Uh, managing your boost well, always grabbing pads. Like these are the things that help you in 1v1. Uh, obviously, there's there's mechanics that you need to work on, but Kali's mechanics are 
on a different level than mine. So is his speed. He's just a much higher level player. I mean, he's a professional. Here, right here. See, that's a situation where you don't want to rush. You want to rush if they're making a play on the ball. If, if you read that they're not making a play on the ball, rushing is almost the worst thing you could do because you're probably just going to hit the ball into their car, right? And that should have been a goal. But uh, yeah, that's how you uh, that's how you adapt to pro players. Peace.